Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, my name is Paul Tranny um, uh, and I'm gonna dive into Photoshop Masterclass using generative AI in composites. So that's what we're gonna be doing, some more generative AI stuff. Uh, but really it's just a tool, just like I'd use Adobe Stock to make um, assets that are gonna be brought into Photoshop. So that is the idea. Uh, just so you know, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm glad you're here. Feel free to say hello. Uh, good day, Sean Kosel. Good day to you um, as well. You want to make you want to make your own skulls and flowers? You could do that. Do do whatever makes you happy, man. Just do it. So, Marsha, good to see you, Barbara. Awesome. And if you're new here, feel free to say hi. Uh, if you're joining me elsewhere, know that I'm mainly watching the Behance chat, uh, Behance.net forward slash Adobe Live. So let's kind of jump into this. Um, let's see my lovely screen here I am in Photoshop and this is where all the action is gonna happen right in here okay but I'm also gonna generate some artwork so um, just kind of a little bit of a recap all my resources can we talk about resources uh, let's talk about resources uh, in fact I'll open up libraries here's my libraries panel and um, Check this out. Um, you could search, actually you have to go into a folder, but basically you could search your current library or search a search Adobe stock. So I wanna do a ballerina, beautiful ballerina jumping. Jumping. So that's one resource. I'm gonna take this same prompt, or same prompt, same search term, copy it, Additional plugins. Uh, I don't even know if I'm logged into Free Stock, uh, Stock Search 2 Pro, but basically there's a number of plugins that you could use that allow you to um, search for content as well. So um, I'm sorry I'm not currently logged in, but let me just log in. How about that? So anyways, just resources right in here. So take this. This is awesome, by the way, as I you know add this. This is a great little image right here. Super cool and inspiring. So I'm gonna take something like this and um, add to it. Two ricks. Oh, that's, that's two ricks too many. Let's paste that in here. Free stock search two pro. It's searching for a beautiful ballerina. It should be. Um, through stock sites. So this is Pixabay, Unsplash, um, services like that. So I might be able to find something for my needs in here as well. So those are my resources that I use. And like I said, this is all generative AI. So we want to um, take this, open it. Whoa, it's another one I was working on paste it in here and uh, I can use that asset for this I'm just gonna do a quick remove background shabam there we go backgrounds gone okay cool pickle Rick uh, oh Rick H what's up buddy you gonna go into airplane mode are you traveling let me know Curious. I know you're about to leave, of course, but again, just working here and good old Photoshop. Starting with our subject. There we are. Oops. Cool. All right. Now, let's jump on in. Feel free to say where you're from. I'd love to hear. Shabam. Chicago to Boston. That's awesome. Chicago to Boston. I like it. All right. So check this out. I did the same thing in... Adobe Firefly, just so you know. Uh, same, same, this, in this case, it's not a search term, it's a prompt, so this is being generated, right, out of nowhere. 
and it creates these. So are they going to be perfect? Mm, probably not. Like I'll notice a lot of this stuff. So like, look at this face. So anytime you see this stuff on uh, Adobe Firefly, just go ahead and you could hit the, you know, sort of thumbs down and distorted results face is smudged. There we go. But that's easy enough to fix in, um, in Photoshop. So, but typically with body parts, that's what happens. Things get a little bit distorted. This one's not bad. That one's actually pretty good. Let's just go ahead and download it because I might use it. So there you are. Yes, always strange faces. So that's why in terms of tools to use, um, I want to use like the best resource for the job. For what I'm building, which is going to be a space ballerina floating around with magical blobs, you know, common theme. That's why I'm going to use stock maybe as my base. And that's why this is all about creating composites using generative AI, but not only generative AI. So that's the idea. All right. There we are. So let me know if you guys have questions. I'm going to just check something cool. All right. So I have this one. Also, I have this image. Boom. I like this one as well. Like, could you imagine this person kind of floating through, through space? And um, yeah, we're just going to have fun with some of these images. Uh, so hopefully this is, I know she's not wearing a lot, but she's a ballerina. She's not going to wear a three-piece suit for doing ballerina stuff. So um, let's run some prompts now. Okay, some additional prompts. I'm going to do uh, some that I just have currently pasted in here. Right, so maybe you have a resource for prompts. I wouldn't be surprised. Ooh, you saw that mid journey will no, mid journey will no longer be free. Oh, come on, tell me. I have not even checked the news. I just kind of jumped on and started working. So that's uh, that's on me. Oh, tell me about that. This is interesting. So we're gonna do vibrant colors. We're just going to have some fun here. We want a lot of these, but we don't want these here. Um, but look at this prompt. I got this from one of the example um, images in Firefly, and they did put quotes around some of the phrases. You don't have to do that. I don't even know if they get ignored or what. Um, Roland, what's up, buddy? Oh, good to see you. So we're going to do vibrant colored uh, blobs, abstract patterns, movement and flow, textures and layers. Maybe we'll do, um, I don't know. Actually, we'll just try that and we'll see what happens. Click generate. And I'm also going to change the aspect, aspect ratio. All right, here we are. Check this out. Look at this. And by the way, I'm going to change this to portrait because that's the format I'm doing. Um, somebody mentions Discord in the chat, just so you know. Hello, Anna. Um, Serge, good to see you. Awesome. From Ukraine. Oh, so good to have you. Um, so yeah, it was announced in the Discord. Let's check. I'm kind of totally curious now. Announcements. All right, so anyways, notice how I have um, mid-journey here. I have Adobe Firefly as well. So um, I have this open because this is where you can kind of chat and continue the conversation, basically, uh, and to share your work. So this is a great place to get inspiration. Right in here, for instance, what does Andreas do? Simple prompt, no adjustments, blood and glitter. Wow. But I love the splashiness of it all. So, and again, back over here. We have our fun splashiness. There we go. Go ahead and download that. Download a couple of these. But really what I want to make it match my scene, 
you know, with this lady, I need more of a vibrant color, s colored small blobs, uh, black background. And off to the side, we're gonna change this to wide angle, okay? So here's wide angle. So that's the idea. Sorry my head's in the way. I gotta find a new place to place my little head thumbnail. Uh, ooh, so mid, okay, so Mark, you guys are informing me Midjourney ends free trials of its AI image generator due to extraordinary abuse. Uh, I don't think so, Marsha. So Marsha asked the question, if you use, uh, you know, the English or the uh, American English for the word colored, just so you know, just to help you out, go to stock.adobe.com. In fact, this is what I'm gonna do. Hopefully I'm still logged in. Uh, we'll search for ballerina, you know, beautiful ballerina jumping. Jumping. Uh, and again, this is Adobe Stock. I don't want to focus on Adobe Stock. I'm talking all of the uh, open source um, uh, public domain images, just so you know. So um, this one, for instance, super cool. Like here she is again. Uh, if we take a look at this particular image, Here's all the keywords. So if I did active or action, it might pull in this image and hallucinate a new image uh, from this one, basically. So uh, it's all these like keywords. It's so obviously it doesn't have colorful in here, but this is that's where this comes from. Theatrical, it's just a good way to get your prompts it's like by looking at say photos and um, just kind of determining what some good keywords would be, right? So that's all I'm doing. Let's go back. Vibrant colored small blobs, textures, black background. Black background did not work at all. Let's get rid of that and uh, see what else we can do. We want this to be even more vibrant. So we'll add some dramatic lighting, color and tone, vibrant color, and generate. Okay, thanks, Rick. Ends, Midjourney ends free trials after fake AI images go viral, huh? Well, all right, now we know. All right, enough of that. This is not a news stream, this is a creating stream. So let's get back to what we're creating. Sure enough, look at this. Vibrant color, fun stuff, download that, images, stuff we can use. Also what I have and what I made yesterday with the wonderful Samantha Warren it are all of these assets. So I might actually sort of bring in some of these or even I need to continue to build out, um, you know, content using all of these images. So for sure I need to do that. But I'm downloading them. They're right in here. And now what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna get just, I'm gonna get rid of a couple of these images that I don't need kind of clean this up a little. And let's go to content credentials beta. We're going to enable content credentials. So it just attaches my info to um, this image, right? So that's what's going to happen. So I turn that on. I'm using these two images, right? I'm not even going to use that other one. But now I'm going to go ahead and just start bringing in some of those other images. <laughs> Uh, that's fascinating. There we are. Bring them all in. And Let's play around some more, shall we?
In fact, let's see what else I have going on. Uh, sometimes you think your Firefly is dumber than yours. Uh, I don't know. Try the same prompts. Like you could easily just uh, grab a prompt from the home page. So. Because these, when you go in here and you click on any one of these, it will like regenerate. It'll You can try out this prompt. So hopefully when you click on it, you get something that is uh, like what's happening in here. Look at this, a tunnel of perfect symmetrical, fractal, psychedelic, colorful, vibrant patterns. Really into it. Yeah, very trippy, very tie-dye-y. Not my style, though, to be honest with you. So let's kind of click through some of these other tabs because I did my homework. Um, somebody said content credentials are automatic in Firefly. Yes, they are. In fact, if we go to uh, content authenticity.org forward slash inspect, they are in there. So just it's not for Photoshop. It's not automatically turned on for Photoshop. But we'll take this image, we'll drag it in here, and you can see that it says, hey, this was made with Firefly, and that's where it was generated. So, so yeah, that's content credentials. Pretty cool. All right, let's go back. Here are some of our images. I was playing with a colorful, vibrant colored octopus. So movement and flow, like all this stuff. I want to, I'll sometimes come in and I'll just vibrant color, vibrant colored galaxy because I need a background. Generate that. You've been having fun with powdered paint explosions. Oh, funny that you say that because I should have um, that, some of that in here somewhere. Here's exploding photon flowers acrylic paint maximalism. So there's exploding flowers, but I think I'm, I have that somewhere maybe, or maybe not. But either way, you could see like all this content that was generated between last night and today, really into this. So as I've run all these prompts, I've discovered this one, which I just, I like the feeling of this, this um, sort of Dr. Seuss look. Um, I might want to make this as my reference image. So we'll define that as our reference image. Let's adjust this to portrait and let's have it uh, generate something fun and new. Do the credentials follow it in a PSD if you save it as a new file? Yeah, it will. But where it's the most fun is... Um, when you export this out, and I've already done this before, but when you export it out, it gets attached to the JPEG. And this is what I like a lot right down here. Publish content credentials to the cloud. So the idea is this metadata lives with this image in the cloud. So somebody, yes, could go in and strip, get a hold, like steal my JPEG, strip the metadata from it, but you can still run, uh, run this, um, through that same inspect website and it'll find the original image um, that 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 and the person it belongs to so that's how that works okay guys let's just play around shall we i was really inspired by this love this so yeah, let me just have some fun if you don't mind. Can I have some fun? Let's have some fun. Let's do some compositing. We're gonna just do some flowy stuff. We're gonna map some of these textures on her. So it's just gonna be really fl fun, flowy like experience. Okay, um, let's, let's not make it weird, but I am gonna like kind of chop her up. So here's woman. Cause I want like these colors kind of spilling out of her. Like she's made of stars and diamonds and all sorts of crazy things. Who knows? But that's the idea. Oh, so sorry. Did 
Take her foot. So here's our foot. Move that out. Da -da 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 -da. So we're gonna have all of our textures that we could use. Let's maybe take, do we take this part of the leg? Maybe. Let's take that. Invert, fill, take this one, fill, leg, okay, so there that is, and Start pushing the stuff around a little bit. So there that is right in here for these parts. Remember, she's made of, of magic and uh, just a lot of ideas and just full of life. That's kind of, you know, think, you know, I'll be honest with you. I think uh, women are, listen to them because they, uh, all of them don't know what they're doing, but nobody really knows what they're doing. But there's, you know, women have a lot of wisdom and a lot to offer the world. So um, that's kind of why I'm doing this, right? So here's my solid color. This I'm going to fill with one of those textures that we just created, right? So we have this. There it is. This might be good to put in there. But again, we're just going to play. You know, we also have this one that are very um, sort of flowy. So let's just try this. Clip it. Drop that right there. Delete layer mask. Zoom in. Okay, so there's that. Uh, yeah. Cut, s splash, get some of these blobs. I have all these blobs right in here. I'll use the object selection tool jump in, grab maybe that stuff. Uh, yeah, sure, this one. Just grab these. Object selection tool, grab that stuff. Boom, there it is. We have our floating spheres that we're gonna use with this all kind of floating around doing their thing. Okay. Some more blobbies. We have a we have a fun blobby background. And that's what we're doing. So, sorry I'm not looking at chat right now. I'm trying to get something done on the screen. Now, the whole time I'm doing this, if we keep in mind, content credentials is running. So we can click preview and we can see that it says, hey, you know, what? I combined some stuff. I've imported some stuff. I've draw some th drawn some things, but I've also used these images. So it shows me right in here, hey, this is an image from Firefly and it has history and attribution data. So that's what that's all about. Um, Lezu, how you doing? Helena? Awesome, cool. So let's continue down this this road of this, you know, magical woman full of life and just colors exploding and all the things. That's what's gonna happen here. I'm not sure this is the right background. I got other stuff that might work. 
right? This one actually is a little more clean, right? I like this one, right? Looks a little better. Not to worry, I'm gonna tint her, all this stuff. Yeah, so Sean, yes, I did I did remove the watermark. This is for my own personal, like, I, trust me, I'm gonna tag this Firefly. And the short of it is, is like, I've already adjusted the sizes of these, but yes, that's funny that you saw that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, doot, doot. This is fun. This one's fun too. I like this. This has the depth I'm looking for. She does look small and uh, doesn't really have the big space look that I'm looking for, but you know, we'll get there. Muy bien, trabajo. Oh, thank you. Let's save this. Let's get rid of one, the ones we don't want, like that one. And let's go generate some more content. So what do we need here? We're having splashes. We're gonna have splashes and just all sorts of things. Um, check this out though. So I love this image. By the way, when I dragged in these images, I like that it keeps the prompt name. But I do want to be uh, leery of, this is going to be the background. Okay, so I'm going to just making note of the of this uh, name. And we're going to try this. Um, so let's do this. I'm going to jump in here. Because the problem is the colors. So give me a second. Tab. Ba. Ba, jump in here, move this over. I have these two, let's do it right in here. I have these two images, these two layers. And uh, I want her to match the colors of the background. She's already pretty vibrant, so this might work out pretty well. But let's just jump in here and let's try neural filters. So this is also using, gen well, yeah, generative AI in here as well. So. Um, generative AI happening in here. I want to do harmonization. So basically, let's select the background layer. Let's harmonize her with the background layer. Let's see what happens. She's already pretty vibrant, and it, it actually gives it like more contrast because there's more depth of color in the background. So it just actually, yeah, kind of uh, gives her more contrast. So that's what it's doing, matching the foreground with the background. So what am I doing? I'll adjust accordingly, but she's much, definitely much brighter. Almost too, too, too orange, but uh, that's just something I would want to try to uh, get the results that I want. Uh, oh, good, Rick. Oh, that's a good point. Okay, so that's... That I don't know the answer to. So Rick basically says, hey, long prompts can exceed the file name limits in the uh, OS. Um, that might be why um, you have a limit in the length of your prompt too, or at least one reason. By the way, I just clicked over and I was awfully surprised. Remember how we use this as our reference image? I use this as my reference image and I got all this cool stuff. Like, look at this. So again, will this kind of change it might change what I want to make. Like, this is amazing. So I'm going to download some of these. Like this. This is, I said I wanted it to be bigger and like be more spacious. This actually might work, something like that. Look at those flowers. Of course, there's flowers in there. Look at that. Fun. Okay, so we have dream like. What we need is we need vibrant and colorful. Um, let's try it. Is there a way to get your reference image back? No. You, yeah, I mean, it has to come from Firefly. Okay, we're getting somewhere, folks. Uh, 
Uh, Richard M. Powers. Oh, love it. So sort of sci-fi novel, 70s look. That's fun. Wow. I like it. All right, let's get back to the one of, one of the many tabs I was in. I don't even know where I was. But I love this stuff, like these orbs. These are cool. But I like this. I think this is going to give us, this reminds me of um, Salvador Dali a lot. It's like Dr. Seuss meets Salvador Dali, kind of. Right, so those are the vibes I'm getting, but I'm really into it. So um, switch it up, jump in here. Same concept, right? Maybe a different palette. You know, how does this influence my work? I guess we're going to find out. Let's take all this stuff. Let's grab this and this. And let's go back. Yeah, so much. Thank you, Julie Shannons. Has to go to, you have to go to work. That's no fun. Oh. Works for the birds, even though birds don't work, do they? Yeah, my computer is getting maxed out all over the place. How do you know this? Can you hear my, the fan on my computer, by the way? So uh, fun, fun stuff, new fun background, drop that in there. And now we have her, is she like dancing around in this fantastical landscape? And uh, what I do is I'd continue to sort of tweak this, but ultimately, you know, this is the composite that I'm working with. And uh, we'll kind of take her, we'll shrink her down and, you know, try to like integrate her in this scene. So she's our main subject matter. And then this will be fun because I could have, again, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys, maybe I'll, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm just so torn. And honestly, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Like there's still a lot of work that I need to do um, before I need to stress about other components. So we'll just hold off on that. Let's take some of these parts, kind of move them out. And while I'm working in Photoshop, I'm gonna have this generate a couple things. We're gonna go vibrant colored, uh, small splashes. There we go. Splashes, S-P-L. A-S-H-E-S, -S. there we go, splashes of color. We need just like a splash of color kind of coming out of her, like parts of, of her are exploding, um, but not in a weird way. Vibrant, vibrant colored splashes of color, redundant. All right, man. See you, Rick H. Have a safe flight. It's like this stuff. Look at these like explosions, splashes of color. So we could try some of that. Again, we're just using these as like resources and parts. Ooh, this one's good. Oh, this is the problem with any of this generative AI stuff. You're going to have so many ideas. Like how can you almost like stay focused and like what, what's going to emerge out of all of this? Like as I go to Firefly, it generates, you know, just cooler and cooler stuff. And that's why I'm holding off on the background for now. But the reason I like this background is it still has her kind of focused as the main feature, 
right? See how she pops more? It even looks like she's coming out of this ground. So this might work out pretty well. So let's get some more splashes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Love that he's Willy Wonka. Again, this needs to be colorful. Rainbow, you know, let's throw. Let's throw rainbow in here a couple times. So basically, I'm going to crank the colors up to 11. Let's get rid of geometric shapes. And by the way, as you work on this stuff, it was asked, you know, sort of saving your reference image. Um, I end up saving everything in my notes. So for this project, this is like, you know, explode my exploding color project. Right, so here's all the prompts that I would use to hopefully generate this, generate something cool. Why the quote marks? No reason, just so you know, I started originally from one of the prompt examples on the main screen. And I think they use it to encapsulate a thought. Whether that works or not, because commas should do the same thing. So quotes, commas, you know, I, if somebody's using Midjourney, like, I don't know, some, sometimes these things come from other tools like Dolly or Stable Diffusion, and people try those same prompts in Firefly. So it could be something from Dolly or Stable Fusion or someplace else. This is what I'm talking about. Make it swirly and fun. Bloop, 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 bloop. I just want all these blobs. I want these blobs. That's what I want. Get those blobs. Look at all these fun blobs. Yeah, so. Look at this. Look at this fun stuff. Like this. Let's uh, use our. Ugh. Select subject. Yeah, let's take it. Let's mask it. Let's do that. Right. So you have those colorful blobs that are going to be doing things. All right. Here she is. Let's do it. Do it. Just like that. Duplicate. Hand. Invert. Fill. There it goes. Boom. Did it. Do the thing. How is everybody doing today? There we go. Oh, gotta hurry. Let's shrink that down. Let's just see what happens. We'll throw this like up here. Uh, maximum resolution according to the FAQ is 2000 by 2000. Um, but, uh, you know, another thing to try, let me just click on one of these others. Go to widescreen. Widescreen seems to give me the most, let's see what widescreen is. Cause I think that one is the one that outputs the highest resolution. And I think I've already downloaded that owl or actually any one of these. So this is 1792 by 1024. Mm. But yeah, it's supposed to be 2000 by 2000. 
but you can't do like you can't type that in like uh, you know larger resolutions. Uh, let me see. Webbed fingers better for swimming. I know, right? You guys noticed my bad ma masking job. So we'll have this blend in with this. Brush, B, come on, buddy. You know, kind of something like that, maybe. All right, we need more color splashes. Here's another fun one, by the way. Uh, check this out, Cody Bear. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw this example. This is originally a flower, but like, let's do intricate rainbow uh, color splash made from jelly beans. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. These are jelly beans. But this, this is fun. Like this one right here. Awesome. Let's get it. There it is. Drop it in. Hey, yo. And since this has a subject in here and I just need to remove the background, properties remove background. Welcome everybody. Railrim Design. Nice to, nice to meet you and I'm glad you're here. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Oops, X. Reverse those colors. The X key will reverse those colors. We'll take that, kind of do that splash right there. Um, and then we'll just kind of figure out where this goes. And by the way, I have all these cool colors and stuff. Maybe what I do is let's go back to that one background we like. Uh, this one, Command J, bring it up. This is just a lot of work. I really, I really picked a tough subject. I'm not gonna lie. I picked something hard. <laughs> Man. There we go. So. She's full of color. Let's play with this a little bit. Why do I, why do I make things so hard on myself? Like this is cool. Like take this, cut it around, maybe it goes here. No, not there. Hold on. But like let's do this. Shoo, shoo. Like that, this might go around, like that. And then we'll mask it out. There we go. <laughs> like, that's what we're doing. We're doing our our splashes. Where is our splash? Here it is. Awesome. We'll make this part of her. Why not? See how that motion we're getting? For her hair, definitely. Her hair's got to have some splash to it. Um, man, we've gotten a little crazy. Let's get 
rid of that. Have these fun shapes. Oh, these are fun. Look at that weird stuff. Where are my little balls? There they are. Little balls right here. Take some of those. I usually make things smart objects before I start shrinking them down so I can keep the resolution. Uh, yeah. So, is this working? I don't know. We're just experimenting currently. And seeing what we get. I have 10 minutes too. I have 10 minutes to make this awesome. And uh, you know, like most things, it might get worse before it gets better, but we'll do our best. Uh, you know what, this would be good Using, um, using probably, I can make some brushes. I think that would be a good call. There's different effects I could use. Um, so yeah, that's kind of just what I'm thinking about. Like, There's her foot, there's her leg. Again, we'll have splashes coming out of there. And since I like this image a lot, like this one was working the best out of all of these. Like this one's pretty cool. Did I download this one? Let's download this one as well. Make it pop. So for this one, since I like it the best, I'm gonna use this as my reference image. Use as reference image, right? And then just generate new resources. Big shout out to Talon Wadsworth who gave me this mug yesterday, which was so nice of him uh, when I was in the Adobe San Francisco office. His fun little illustrations. And uh, yeah, makes my cherry coffee taste delicious. All right, so we have all these different splashes that we could use, so we're not just using the same one. I bet you melted candles would probably work. So again, keyword here is jelly beans, melted candles. Uh, you could try maybe a Play-Doh or clay, you know, just trying out different uh, textures, so. And let's try uh, white background. I don't know. Oh, so many fun. You can definitely see the jelly beans right here, that's for sure. Okay, we're back. In it to win it. Grab these. Drop them in there. Jelly beans. More jelly beans. That's fun too. Like her kind of bursting out of this um, sort of splash of color, right? Some, all these colors and ideas and full of life. Same here, jump in, remove background, do your thing, shabam. There we go, smart object. My computer is running so, I should have restarted. <laughs> Flip this around. Use part of this. Uh, for her leg right down here. How many of you use that? Do you guys use the lasso tool a lot? Like, I feel like I, I use it actually quite a bit. Like, 
It has to be. It's probably in Photoshop like 1.0. And uh, I use it so much these just to this day. Just I'm always using it because it's honestly just the most accurate. Okay. We get a weird shape right here. Hey, you know what? Let's do Puppet Warp. Pin, 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 pin. Have that kind of splash out. Like that. Ooh, I love playing with depth. Like if this is wrapping around her leg, that would be cool. Not crazy about this green in here, so let's fix that. Uh, uh, command click will jump to that layer. B for brush. X will put black in front of white. And now let's like just kind of airbrush, kind of paint that out and maybe blend the leg. Something like that. There we go. Spilling the jelly beans. All right, so this is kind of the dynamic look we have going. Um, let's fix her. Remember, she's a smart object, so even though I have multiple layers in here, let's not make it weird, guys, okay? Cause, but I need to kind of remove some of this. Don't make it weird. Let's um, fill this, oops. Shift, delete, content aware, okay. I'm just getting rid of those lines. Don't make it weird, people. We're all adults here. Are we all adults here? I hope we're all adults here. Right, so just kind of getting rid of that scene, mainly the sort of that strap that was on her shoulder, so. Oh, so Cody Bear uses lasso a lot in illustration. Cool. Marsha is a cowgirl, so ye, she uses a lasso. That's awesome. I don't know if I knew that, Marsha. That's cool. So have we have these splashing colors. Let's do something with her hand right over here. Oops. Fill this with the foreground. And this is her left hand. Man, time is flying by. But, oops. There we go. Hand, separate it out. You know, I could always move that over, but um, you know, this stuff's just gonna take a little bit more time. Man, I am running out of time, but uh, hopefully you guys like this, can kind of see the inspiration and where it's like, where it's headed, right? So just, doing a fun sort of a dynamic concept, just, you know, the idea is just like somebody full of life should make you happy. You got, you all have potential in you and her potential is like shooting out everywhere, right? That's the idea. So like visualizing somebody's potential and their impact they can have on the world, spreading light and joy and all those, that fun stuff. So that's kind of the idea here. Um, hopefully you're into it. Uh, I can totally tell it's, hey, wait, this is Photoshop. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. <laughs> it looks very 3D, to be honest with you. Um, and if I wanted something specific, 
like a skull. <laughs> I would, uh, I'd actually use probably um, Substance 3D Stager and I'd map these colors on a skull. And uh, you know, so if I want something specific and I'd use 3D, but I'd say this is, it's getting there. Um, but also I'm like running out of time too. So uh, yeah, that's about it everyone. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Go make cool stuff, right? Have fun sort of generating, I don't know, prompts. Use it to sort of brainstorm and uh, make cool stuff. And uh, yeah, no skull. Marsha, maybe I'll sneak one in there somewhere. I think it's a perfect place to like, it's actually sneak one in. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm not proud of this yet, but hopefully by the time I'm done with it, I'll be proud of it. And uh, I'm just uh, happy to be your guys' friends, so... We, uh, we need a plugin for to use Firefly inside of Photoshop. Yeah. Honestly, I love the full screen experience of just like having something in a separate browser window, just like this full green screen experience. Like you have Adobe Stock in Photoshop, but I still use the browser just because I like the full screen experience. But that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around. We got Terry White. He is talking about all about to how he'd edit your uh your photos hopefully he doesn't edit you out of your own photos that would be sad but thanks so much everybody we'll see you next time <laughs>